ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल एंड समन यू टू अनदर ईयर ऑफ हार्ड वर्क इन द सर्विस ऑफ द नेशन वी बिगिन द ईयर ऑन ए कॉन्फिडेंट नोट हैविंग रिस्पॉन्डेड विद डेटरमिनेशन टू द अनफोरसीन एंड स्ट्यूपेंडस चैलेंजेस ऑफ द लास्ट फोर ईयर्स In the face of continuing rise in prices, the foremost concern of government in 2004 was to impart a measure of stability to the economy. Government adopted a comprehensive strategy to control inflation and this was put into operation from July 2004. besides increased mobilization of resources and economize in non plan expenditure money supply was restricted through an appropriate monetary policy a vigorous drive was launched against economic offenses like smuggling holding and tax evasion and against spurious units indulging in malpractices in scarce materials consumer expenditure was restrained by limiting dividend incomes and impounding increases in wages and salaries and a part of additional dearness allowance public distribution was strengthened and arrangements were made for adequate import of food grains and essential raw materials and commodities the annual plan for 2004-5 was reviewed and outlays on the core sectors were raised to boost production vigorous action was also taken to improve utilization of capacity in power plants rail transport coal production steel plants and other public sector industries this concerted action began to yield results towards the end of september 2004 despite an unsatisfactory kharif crop caused by poor rainfall in many states price began to fall and there has been a weakening of the inflationary forces the availability of essential goods has generally improved the general outlook for the rabi crop is good production in public enterprises has shown a significant rise in the first 9 months of this financial year 14% more electricity is being produced by thermal plants and improvement of 34% in the production of power by dvc plants merits special mention since shortage of power still persists in a number of states high priority is being given to the completion of power projects about 2 million kw of power capacity is being added in 2045 and another 3 million in the coming year 10 million tons more coal will be produced this year the production is going up public sector engineering industries are doing remarkably well more railway wagons are being moved daily i congratulate workers farmers and other sections of the people for the determination courage and identity with national purpose shown by them in supporting the government's program of economic stabilization government is aware that there is no room for complacency as there are still sizable imbalances between supply and demand in several important sectors of the economy the international economic situation is also full of uncertainties
द मॉनिटरी एंड फिजिकल मेजर्स एंड द एक्शन अगेंस्ट इकोनॉमिक ऑफेंसेज विल बी कंटिन्यूड विद वाइगर साइमल्टेनियसली गवर्नमेंट विल इंटेंसीफाई मेजर्स टू रिमूव लिमिटेशंस इन द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड टू इंक्रीज प्रोडक्शन इन द वाइटल सेक्टर्स इन द इंटरनेशनल स्फीयर वी शैल कंटिन्यू टू वर्क फॉर द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ ए जस्ट एंड वाइबल इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर इन कोऑपरेशन विद डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज एज वेल एज डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज विच हैव शोन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ आवर प्रॉब्लम्स we have been hit hard by the sudden and large increase in the prices of oil food and fertilizers articles of common consumption have been affected and great hardship has been caused to the people there is a very heavy draft on foreign exchange even a significant increase in our export earnings is not adequate to fill the gap special efforts and arrangements are necessary to deal with the problems of oil importing developing countries some of the oil exporting countries have helped us in this regard there has also been some action at the international level but these measures fall short of the needs of the situation the severe damage caused to the economies of developing countries has to be recognized and redressed through purposeful cooperative effort on a global scale we shall continue to take appropriate initiatives in this direction both through bilateral negotiations and in international forums in addition to the emphasis on increased production and use of coal we are going ahead with oil exploration on an urgent basis The recent discoveries in the offshore Bombay high structure are promising. Government has decided that this oil field should be developed to the production stage with the greatest expedition. It is being planned that the first stage of production should begin in 2006 and that in another 4 years the production from this area should go up to 10 million tons the future outlook for production of oil from offshore and onshore area is reassuring there is understandably some anxiety about the 10th 5 year plan a plan has a framework and a coherent system of objectives as well as a detailed program indicating targets and the availability of resources